welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i am going to explain you about norton's theorem uh, in the previous video we learned about superposition theorem we learned about kvl kcl and all right so this video let's learn about norton's theorem what does norton theorem say in a linear and bidirectional two terminal network forget about in a linear and bidirectional two terminal network can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in in parallel with a resistor rn okay simple guys you are replacing a network you are replacing an existing network with an equivalent circuit a uh, existing circuit or existing network whatever it is you are replacing it with something else and in that the current is in and the resistance is rn okay so when a circuit is given to you you have to first find out what is in the value what is the value of in and what is the value of rn and then you have to calculate whatever is asked in the question okay in norton's theorem next we will learn thevenin's theorem that will be little bit different almost similar to this just a small difference will be there so i recommend you to first listen to this carefully so that that theorem will become very easy for you now let us understand what is in what is rn in is norton's current and rn is nothing but norton's resistance what do they mean in means the short circuit current through the terminals and rn means input resistance at terminals when the independent sources are turned off so you are not turning off the independent sources in case of in when you want to find out in you are not turning off the independent sources okay but in case of rn you are turning off the independent source okay simple again if you go through the example you will understand it very clearly don't worry about it okay first what is our example problem we have to find out the current you have to find out the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor here where is 5 ohms resistor here whatever the current is flowing through this 5 ohms resistor that you have to find out okay so in order to find out current what we have to do first let us first we have to find out what is in and then we have to find out what is rn and then we can find out the current flowing through this 5 ohms okay first in order to find the current we will do the short circuiting okay first let's find out in in order to find in what we have to do short circuit current right so let us short circuit this here let us short circuit it and let us see how the diagram is going to be basically this is our original diagram right this is our original diagram but here what we did is we just short circuited this end okay we are just short circuiting this end okay so here whatever the current is flowing we are assuming that current as i n and now our task is to find out this i n so same circuit diagram only thing is you are short circuiting this end everything is same to same let me zoom in for you see everything remaining everything is same to same okay we are just removing this end we are just short circuiting this end okay now let's see what to do let me zoom in it again for you yeah now in order to calculate i n let us apply the current dividing rule but in order to identify so apply the current divider rule first let us find out the equivalent resistance because you have so many resistors over here first this 6 ohms and 3 ohms are in parallel connection right so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 so in parallel connection how do you find out the equivalent resistance 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 right so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 that means you will get 1 plus 2 divided by 6 is equal to 1 by r that means r is equal to 6 over 3 so you will get 2 ohms the equivalent of these two is 2 ohms again now this 2 ohms the equivalent of this 2 ohms will be in series connection with this 2 ohms right so here you got an equivalent of 2 ohms so 2 plus 2 you will get 4 ohms of current okay so till here till here the equivalent current is 4 ohms not considering this the equivalent current of these three resistors is what 4 ohms now here that means for this branch the, the resistor is 4 ohms 
and this branch also the resistance is 4 ohms so the now current is coming from here right so whatever 20 amperes of current is coming from there since both are having same resistances here 4 ohms and here 4 ohms you understood how we got 4 ohms here right we got the equivalent resistance so current will be dividing equally here 10 amps here 10 amps current will be dividing equally okay for both the sides 10 amps of current only will go now let us apply the current dividing rule in this uh, branch because we want i n right so now apply the current divider rule you will get what is the entering current here 10 amps into 6 divided by 6 plus 3 that means what you will get 2 over 3 so you will get 20 by 3 amperes okay so what is the current you got 20 by 3 amperes so what is i n now 20 by 3 amperes is the value of i n okay now what is your second task you have to find out r n in order to find out r n what you have to do you have to turn off the independent sources right you have to keep this diagram as it is and from this diagram you have to remove this 20 amperes um, what do we say source okay because you have to turn off the independent sources so now let us see what our new diagram from from this we can do the new diagram so from this diagram we removed this source and we got it like this okay the same diagram but this source is removed that's all so now where rn will be acting rn will be acting over here you have to find out what is the value of rn which is very simple you just have to apply some uh, like what do we say resistance rules like whether they are connected in series or parallel this diagram what you can say first of all these both are connected in series right so 4 ohms plus 2 ohms you will get 6 ohms now the resultant of these two is 6 now this 6 ohms is connected in parallel with this 6 one so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 which is nothing but 2 by 6 which is nothing but 6 by 2 because 1 by r is equal to 1 by 6 by 1 by 6 okay so 6 by 2 you will get 3 so now r is equal to how much 3 ohms now the resultant of all these 3 ohms is in parallel or is in connection sorry is in parallel or is in series, series with this it is in series connection with that so you will get 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6 ohms so now what is your r n value 6 ohms okay so finding out rn is very easy right you just have to figure it out whether it is in series connection or it is in parallel correction and you'll be done so now you got the value of in over here as 20 by 3 amperes and you got the value of rn as 6 amperes 6 ohms sorry so what does norton's theorem say replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in and resistance is rn right so now you will come up with a new circuit diagram so you will be replacing this old circuit diagram with a new circuit diagram where the current will be i n and the resistance will be r n okay now let us see what how we get the new circuit diagram as in which resistor you want the current in 5 ohms resistor right so you will keep this 5 ohms resistor as it is and this current will be replaced with norton's current sorry current right so i n okay and uh, all these resistors will be replaced with norton's uh, resistance r n so this is r n and your 5 ohms resistor as it is okay now we are done with the circuit now we got a new circuit okay from this new circuit you have to find out the current flowing in this 5 ohms whatever 5 ohms resistor it is okay again same simple logic we are again applying the current divider rule so current divider what is in value it is 20 by 3 
and what is Rn value? You got Rn as uh, 6 ohms, right? So 20 by 3 original current, the entering current into 6 ohms divided by 6 plus 5. That means 20 by 3 into 6 by 11. That means you will get 40 by 11. Yeah. So the current flowing through 5 ohms resistor is equal to 40 by 11 amperes by Norton's theorem. Okay. Simple. This is our original circuit. Okay. This is our original circuit. We converted, we simplified this original circuit like this. How? By using the Norton's theorem. So basically what you will be doing in Norton's theorem, you will be replacing the circuit with the new circuit where the current in the new circuit will be IN and that will be connected in parallel to the new resistance RN. So IN will be connected in parallel to RN. Okay guys, got it? So this is all about Norton's theorem. Um, any theorem in this uh, electronic subject, if you just look at the problem definition, you will not understand. So I mean the theorem definition, you will not understand. If you do an example problem, then only you will understand it more better. Okay. So this is all about this video guys. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic. Till then, stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching the video today.